Here to help us unpack the shuffling of the deck at the State House with the Speaker potentially becoming the Commissioner of Agriculture is senior political reporter John DeStaso. Hi, Adam. John, thanks for being here. Thank you. Everyone is saying this isn't about politics, but in a sense, uh, the governor is potentially solving a problem for himself here within the Republican caucus in the House. What is that? Well, it's definitely about politics. Uh, he's certainly uh, trying to solve a problem. Whether it actually turns out that way uh, remains to be seen. He's trying to take... Uh, away the Jasper uh, factor, so to speak, and this is not a put down on Speaker Jasper, it's just the fact that Jasper has uh, had his feuds with, with the conservative bloc and various factions. Uh, he will now be out uh, out of the State House, uh, hopefully from his point of view, at the Agriculture Commission uh, Department. Uh, the situation, though, is that he is trying to uh, leave, not him personally, but his group is trying to put in place uh, the long-standing f uh, former speaker and well-known uh, in the state house, Gene Chandler, and uh, while Gene has a lot, of, he's a lot of personal re respect. The conservatives really don't see any difference in terms of approach to uh, how the house is handled, uh, philosophy. They view this leadership group as not conservative enough for them, not uh, fiscally conservative enough, and uh, not have pushing some of their key issues uh, other than the budget on uh, right to work, for instance, which mm -hmm. uh, they feel should have been more strongly supported by the leadership. So uh, it should be a very interesting few weeks, a uh, month or so. I think we're going to see the same pattern of um, jockeying and debate, uh, right wing versus sort of center wing, uh, as we go forward and, and a new speaker is chosen by the Republicans. Yeah, but th there is a risk here, right? Because, you know, you have Speaker Jasper, who, while he may be controversial within his own caucus, is not some kind of lightning rod uh, that, that people are talking about all the time, say like a Speaker O'Brien, that might create headaches for Governor Sununu. There's a chance he could end up with a speaker here who might be uh, at loggerheads with him sometimes politically. That's possible. Uh, I, think the, I think the idea would be that, um, you know, the, the governor has had his issues with Jasper. I think, uh, I don't want to get into anyone's head, but I think the feeling was that he wasn't pushing hard enough, uh, especially on that budget. Uh, will that occur uh, next session? There's no budget. There will be the Medicaid expans expansion issue, however. Uh, there's going to be, a, and it's also an election year. So the Republicans really want to show unity so that the Democrats aren't pointing fingers at them and saying this party, uh, yeah, you see on Twitter a lot, the GOP in disarray, you see Dems in disarray, but where the disarray really is. So I think they're trying to take the political factor out of this. I think it remains to be seen. I think it's going to be very political over the next several weeks and, until a speaker's chosen. Uh, if I may just say, there's some discussion, as I wrote about on uh, Friday, Thursday and Friday, to try to put a conservative in, envision a, a Chandler speakership uh, with his, uh, the, the majority leader staying where he is or moving the deputy speaker, because Chandler is a deputy speaker, and then having a conservative move into the leadership position. Yeah, certainly will be a lot of jockeying between now and then, John. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Sure. Thank you.